guys and welcome back to my channel. For this week's video I decided to go back to my comfort zone and draw what I love drawing best. If you've been following me for a while on my Instagram you'll be able to see that I love my black pen portrait illustrations. I love the versatility of pen and how simple and medium it is. I love being able to shade and when I say shade I say that in quotations mainly because it's more like cross hatching. I love how you can create and add tone and shadows to a face. I show this in pieces throughout this video. Before I say anything else, I just want to say a massive thank you for 100 subscribers. I started this channel wanting to re-motivate myself to create and share what I love doing with others. And I'm so glad that I've been able to find a community that is so talented and inspiring. So thank you for joining me on this journey. Also, thanks for those who have stuck by me from the beginning and continue to support me. I see you in the comments below, so thank you. These last few days, I've been feeling a bit blur, just hitting the halfway mark for isolation and I'm starting to question everything I know, or at least I thought I knew. Having a little bit more time at home, I've been reading and listening to a lot more conspiracies and a lot, I mean a lot of child and sex trafficking that's happening. I've always been aware that it exists, but always thought, never here, never me. Yet, sadly, the reality is that that's not true. The world is a big, scary place, and you never know what can happen. I know I touched on this in my last video, but you never really know who you'll come across, and sex trafficking is happening right in front of us in every country. Most of us are uneducated because it's not talked about. Sex trafficking is real, and I'll link a post that I came across just before. I really encourage you all to have a read, to be educated and be aware so it doesn't happen to you. We can only be so careful and the more educated we are, the more we know, the more we can live our best lives with the ones we love. But on a more positive note, I've been telling myself that isolation is just temporary. We're halfway through. 
to live my best life every day and to do more of what makes me happy. For me, that's making and creating things. Anything from photography to art to filming videos. I love it all. I'd love to hear and know what you love doing in the comments below. So here's the finished illustration I did. The eyes aren't as accurate as I'd like them to be, but I guess that's kind of my style. A bit funky, a bit wonky, and a bit sketchy. I did love how the hair turned out. And as always, thanks for watching, and whatever you're thinking about doing, do it. You wouldn't.